Okay, let's go to this. Uh, let's see about this calculator. This was done by uh, designer diatoramps uh, for the uh, brown. Uh, see here the calculator. The all these colors of the keys are almost the same. This is like a, the almost same, like brown and the black. But he differentiated these two keys uh, and this one, green, red, and yellow. So he, he wants to emphasize this equal sign and the power button in the calculator. You can also see this, this principle is used in today's uh, windows also. See here also, they try to emphasize the equal sign with a different color. So still, this principle is still using and also you can also uh, you can also use this uh, emphasis to get someone's attention into your design some elements so let's this is like saying that you can use more than one focal point also in the previous uh, this calculator you can see the focus is on this power button and also he wants to get the uh, viewers attention into this equal button as well but uh, i will just jump through this one and i will show you the difference between the one focal point and a more focal points uh, let's see here this calculator look at this one it has so many colors it has given so many um, colors to every key it uh, given colors to every key look you cannot identify any of it so that's what what i said when you are trying to emphasize everything it's also like a chaos you cannot identify properly what is what and what is that so let's go here see see how this is a uh, shoe store in um, spain uh, how the emphasis has been used the the, uh, the principle of emphasis has been used to uh, get the attention of the uh, consumer so this is a better way for the uh, this is this can be used by the interior designers as well as merchandising students see the shoes having the same shape and same uh, brand uh, like the same type uh, grouping with each other but with a white background so the any color of the shoes and everything can be emphasized with the white background so color is a main uh, element uh, that you can use to uh, emphasize certain things so it's like contrasting here we use the emphasis by contrast also you can see some of the shoes hanging on the wall also because of the white background it emphasizes this is another example and also can you see here the uh, the selling counter so even though this uh, all the walls are white, the designer used an orange uh, table for the selling counter. So it, it's been highlighted as well. So he wants, if a consumer comes here, go around it and find a shoe and can directly come to the selling uh, counter. So emphasis is a, a key factor when you are, when uh, you are doing interior design and also merchandising and also in the fashion as well in every design space. This is what I said, when everything is emphasized, nothing is emphasized. So you saw it in the calculator and also here, this is the Times Square uh, in New York. See also every shop is and every building is trying to emphasize their billboards and the TV. What has happened here? You cannot focus on anything. When you go there, it's like a chaos. But it's colorful. But the problem is you cannot, uh, when you are looking at it, you cannot uh, identify any of the places because of this. Uh, everything is trying to uh, dominate here. So it's the same thing, more than one focal point. 
confusion replace interest with clear focal point. So this is the, the example that I showed you before. So there are three types. You can, uh, three uh, like uh, methods, like you can do emphasize by contrasting. The other thing is isolation and the other one is placement. Contrast is something that I showed you before, like a white background, you have a color patch or <clears throat> Uh, what you can, uh, yeah, uh, and the other thing is like uh, you can uh, use the light and shade also to contrast. Uh, and you can use the scale, uh, that means the size and the shapes, different shapes, and the direction. So I will go through those directions, size, and uh, the shape uh, further down in the presentation. So here, this is like the contrast. See the background is like a grayish color, but the leaf has given a bright color into it to contrast it. So your eyes will focus into that element onto that one. This is an example for the contrasting and this is the isolation. So see here, it's like you can do something like you can have elements together in a one place and what, what you want to emphasize can be taken out from that group and uh, put it in a different place. This is what happened. There are uh, so, uh, the top uh, line, you see the all the birds grouped together and a one bird here. So your eyes will definitely go to the single bird there. So that's what we call isolation. And this is the placement. Placement is something that you can use with the other elements as well. So the placement is, uh, it's like this. So you have uh, the strip of this white and black focusing on to the center of the image. So it's like you are getting the help of another elements to get the attention into this focal point. Even though you can see this is a black and white picture, but your eyes will definitely focus into this white dot in the middle. Why? Because of these lines will direct you to the center of the image. So this is what we call placement. In, the, in a placement, you use other elements to, uh, to get the help to make the placement. So emphasis by contrast can be done by uh, the style, color, shape, uh, not the placement, it's like the direction. Plus one element that is the opposite, yes. It's like, uh, I, I know you, uh, we learn about like um, figure and ground. It's, it's also a kind of a emphasis. See, uh, the, 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 the previous picture we had, it's like a gray background. So it's the ground, the figure will be the leaf. This is how you use the direction. If you have el some elements uh, directing into this side, you can use a different element uh, in the other direction to emphasize that. And also you can use the color. Here also uh, color has been used with the direction, different direction. So here, yes. This is what I call this figure and ground concept. So in emphasis, some can say that in the previous pitch as well, your eyes will focus to that uh, gold color, uh, the, the yellow color uh, fish, but others can say I, I am focusing onto the background. It's also happening. It's because of the figure and ground. I said, if you look at it, you can, your eyes will go into the figure or you, your eyes will focus into the background. Either way, <clears throat> It's giving, uh, when you are giving emphasis, emphasis to the uh, composition, it will direct you into the one that you want to emphasize or the background. So if you want to enhance that, you can use the other elements like the scale or, or the color and the direction, all these matters. 
see now we go with uh, uh, with the three examples also for this direction scale and shape so see did not use any of the colors using the same uh, uh, the same color see these uh, rectangles it has a direction of bottom to top but suddenly there is a horizontal line so your eyes uh, will focus onto the horizontal line where it uh, the direction changes so that's the example for a direction so you can use this one uh, in your design as well when you have certain elements in your design in a one direction you can use a one single element going on another direction so it will uh, give a character also an emphasis to the uh, viewer see here the scale used every the, the all the triangles are in same size and uh, in same color but suddenly you see a one small triangle in the middle so this is how you use the scale scale or the size what you and the other thing is the shapes most of you guys will use the shapes in your designs so when you are having certain uh, design elements repeating in like in the pattern if you have a pattern you have let's say triangles go here putting here and there or uh, squares you have a grid suddenly you have a circle in between so then because of the change of the shape your for your uh, focus will be onto that one or otherwise as i said figure and ground so otherwise you, your eyes will go onto the background this is a building done by le corbusier uh, an architect uh, uh, this one is the uh, i think the roman catholic church uh, in france see here the roof uh, he some uh, sometimes you can use the all the three principles we learn here the direction uh, the size and the shape see here the roof try to contrast it but with the direction it's going like this the building is on vertical uh, the all the walls are on vertic vertical direction and the roof is focusing on to this pointed roof focusing on to this direction and the color also uh, change uh, give another feature for uh, it to be emphasized uh, and also about the size of the roof see all the and direction size and the shape uh, it has a different shape than the uh, vertical shapes see how all the things has been uh, used to emphasize certain elements in architecture uh, this one is in new york i forget the name of it it's called vessel in hudson yards new york uh I don't know now. I think it has been uh, closed off. Uh, there was, I think, a suicide or something like that happened. <clears throat> so, see here the. Uh, but I don't have an image here with uh, with the image taken from far far away. So, all the buildings here are like a cube shape. Suddenly, you see a different shape here. You see like a honeycomb structure. So. When you come, uh, when you're standing in front uh, in the city, you can see this uh, different shape, uh, different form. So your emphasis can, uh, the viewer's emphasis can focus onto this one. So it's not only for your small composition, small things, you can use it in a big context as well. So in a city, if you are having a, a different form like, uh, like this, you can get the focus of the viewers. So let's see about this picture. Where are your eyes focused? Now here you have a lot of colors as well. So you have these circles, so many colors and everything. Where are your eyes focused on? Even though you have colors here. So you think now your eyes will go here, here, there. And anyone can say uh, it can be changed. So where are your eyes focused on here? So anyone can say? 
which circle? Oh yeah, big white one. See, it's uh, the color is a little diminished. There is a black. It's it's looking like a tunnel because of this white. There is a white, uh, black patch also inside. I don't know whether you can see it. It's looking like a tunnel and how it has been uh, taken your eyes onto this one. They try to have these things transparent as well as kind of a transparency has been given. And also uh, that this circle has another circle inside with a black patch showing it's like a different shape, like a different uh, form. And with this white uh, patch around it. So this is how you can use uh, certain uh, th these principles uh, of the size, uh, direction, and colors uh, into your design. See here. So sudden change of the pattern also give the emphasis. See all these. Uh, diagonal lines suddenly there is a circle in the middle and also there is another element your eyes will focus on because of this whole thing where where can can you say where your eyes will go another there is another focal point also with the circle is a one there is a secondary one can anyone say with in this composition there is another element uh, group of elements your eyes will focus Yeah, tiny black circles. Why? Because of changing of the shape. Changing of the shape, even though it's in the same direction, uh, same diagonal direction, uh, your eyes will go into the because of the change of the shape. So it's like isolating one element, isolating elements, we will uh, talk about it later on. See the direction, distorted. You guys remember now we did a project, uh, sure, uh, surrealism, uh, the last assignment that we did. Also, we changed the scale of certain elements. So it's also give, uh, uh, we can use that one also as a emphasis. See, uh, sometimes you make, let's say a human figure, you make the head bigger then your focus will definitely go into someone's focus will be onto that one. So say changing scales also will help that that the size change in size of one object and the shape. The color is also a major component when doing the emphasis. So we are now uh, talking about the uh, emphasis by isolation. This is an uh, example for the isolation. See here, all the squares are in this grid and suddenly these three squares has been taken out from there uh, and uh, uh, it isolates from the, this whole uh, grid. So your eyes will focus onto that or your eyes can also focus onto this because of that element. So let's see some of the examples. Yeah, here, you know, here, this, this is a one composition, let's say, uh, from the, 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 the left hand side, see here, all the squares with colors and all that suddenly a black square, you can see a black square at the bottom. So this is what we call the isolation, you can group certain elements and have one element out of this out of that group, keeping it out. And here, where are your eyes focused on? Let's say in the middle, this side, that side, top or bottom. Can you see anything, any difference in that one? Or you see this whole thing as a one? So anyone can say there is a focal point here? Yeah, middle of the big square, this one. Yeah. Because this one has the whole pattern the whole element in it other ones have the part of it so when you have in the parts of a certain element and suddenly you have a full element the full component in a place that's also called the isolation 
but you can emphasize it by giving a different color or as i said you cannot you no need to use the isolation as it is that principle you can use the 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 other principles as well the one that i uh, that we spoke about like uh, the contrast and also the next one we are uh, going to talk about uh, the placement so here the placement so here the placement has been achieved with the other elements so see all the, the background is blurred and this one is focused so that's another way of uh, getting the uh, emphasis into this element this has been this uh, this has been using by the photographers uh, the showing all the details and uh, uh, every detail of the element that you want to give and the other one to make it blurred and this one as i said see your eyes will focused onto that this area here on at the end of the pathway here this area it's focusing onto that one because of the other elements see here the pathway and these lines are directing your eyes into this that's how the emphasis uh, uh, that's uh, uh, that's how the uh, the the composition showed you the emphasis in here so let's see here now this is a placement uh, it says about see here the red and the yellow placement because of the whole the the whole uh, the other elements are in a single uh, color but i think this is more than the this is kind of a placement and also the contrast emphasis by contrast is also play a major role here because of the changing colors with the uh, rather than the placement uh, showing the contrast here so uh, thoughts on place in the focal point there uh, we usually i uh, in my class i spoke to few of when i am going uh, go, uh, went through certain designs i asked them not to give the emphasis in the center uh, because it's better to have one third of the image you don't need you don't need to um, uh, i don't want anyone to do it at the corner as well because if you focus any elements let's say this this is a uh, this is a canvas or we are going to for uh, do some focusing elements somewhere here then what will happen is this viewers eyes will focus into this area and the attention into the whole image will loss so try to avoid focusing elements at the corners and also at the centers try to have it like one third of the image that's the best way to have it i think uh, if anyone who did uh, any photography or anything just learn about this principle as well the rule of third see here let's say this picture when when you are doing any pitch uh, taking any pictures try to focus at the one third line so that's the best way to give a better focus on it then your eyes will uh, focus into this element as well as to the whole picture then you can give the whole message as well otherwise you if you have this one somewhere here so your eyes will focus into this one but the whole message will not convey properly in this one see some of the uh, things that we uh learn in the previous lectures as also play a major role here see uh some horizontal lines and curvilinear lines and the rectilinear lines also play a major role here in this image to emphasize and see one third as i said now if i divide this image into one third this area is focused in that one third area and here the staircase starts at the one third of the image 
and also here they use the colors as well to give the emphasis. And when you are doing, uh, when you are for, uh, putting elements to give the focus, uh, you need to have the balance as well. So uh, maintaining balance is also important. That can be, this is a good example for that. Uh, in this image, can you see here now, the, uh, he, they use uh, the artist use the color for this dress and this one. So he wants to give uh, emphasis for the suits and but if the person use only color to this dress, the 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 balance of the picture will uh, lose. That's why uh, even though the color of the background is the same like the uh, the skin color. But try to use the color in here and, and uh, to balance it, the artist use the color onto this side as well. So not focusing directly into this uh, or this, it has a kind of uh, giving a balance with the emphasis. So this is another example for maintaining the balance with the uh, emphasis see here the the chair with the black and also use the black cat to balance the image can you see on the other one also the colors he has used can you find a similar uh, character in this cover page can anyone say about uh, the color the whole composition has been balanced with the one color White is a one, that's, that's I understand at the background. Yeah, red. Can you see how, it, how he balanced it? For the here and the lips and the text here. The whole image has been balanced by the two colors. And uh, this is uh, also showing one example of using the same, uh, this, uh, the natural color with some using different color. And your eyes will definitely focus into this uh, here, but suddenly to balance it, you use certain uh, colors onto this face here, like a ghost, uh, just jutting out here. See, when you, you are, your eyes will focus onto this one and to get it balanced, use the color, a different color for this face. This is another good example for, the, for interior designers. When you are doing interior design, you can use this principle of emphasis. See here, there, is, there, there are no walls here, but you can uh, separate the lobby space and the pathway using the texture and the color. So what he tries to do, try, uh, what he tried to do is to give a color here to emphasize this space. So no need of a wall. Anyone will walk, they know now if just like a boundary without a wall. So the emphasis also can be used in interior design as well when you are doing uh, when you need to uh, create spaces inside one big space and ask uh, the client ask not to have walls, you can use uh, the color and the texture for that. And this is another example for con uh, emphasis by contrast using a color. Also in the fashion design, uh, you can use color as well to emphasize certain elements. Here also they use the color, contrast, and also uh, uh, the, uh, the placement as well, directing you directions and some of the uh, different shapes. 
most of the time this is uh, looking like a contrast how you contrast elements with each other this is another example for interior space but the, the shoe shop i think it's more it's a good space uh, for emphasis rather than this one now this one is a better example see here how the colors has been used and the uh, isolation has been uh, used to give the emphasis Uh, that's for today. Uh, do you have any questions about emphasis? Okay, so uh, first I will just show you one, uh, this our syllabus. If anyone wants to know about the submission dates, just go right down here. So we are now here, emphasis and hierarchy. So we have the quiz two, but start of lecture, but we are having at the end. Uh, the project for due. This is the first uh, lab session. This is the second lab session. So project four is due today. Uh, I think because of the, this, uh, our project five will go up to this date. So that means three, uh, the next Thursday is the due date for the project five, that which I'm going to explain you today. Uh, so I think better all of you guys, uh, I will also, try, uh, yeah. Yeah, project four due today. No, not uh, 11.50 till midnight, you have the till midnight. Yeah, because I am now going to tell you is, uh, Yeah, other classes tomorrow, yeah. <laughs> because it cannot be <laughs> doing like that for everyone to submit it on Monday because they have the lab session tomorrow. So, but I, what, what I can do is, okay, uh, you guys having issues with the Monday? Okay, I'll, I'll make the Monday one into Tuesday, that's fine. Okay, I'll do that. Uh, I'm going to tell you is uh, you work on the project for today. Don't try to uh, start work on the uh, project five uh, because we have three days more and we need to cover up this balance as well. Balance lecture, lecture for the uh, project five. We using the balance and the emphasis together for this project five. So you can work on the project for today in your class and submit it tomorrow. I will change it and I will let the TAs know about it. If you guys have any questions or just uh, having issues with submitting, just let me know, but before, not after the, after submitting everything. Then I, if there is anything I can do, I will help you to do that. Uh, so, yeah, so we will have the project five uh, on the, uh, some of, you guys have Wednesday and the others have Thursday and Tuesday, uh, next week, Tuesday uh, and Tuesday, we will have this critique uh, and then you can submit it on, uh, everyone can submit it on uh, Thursday. Yeah. Anyone said anything? So that's about the dates. You can find it here. Uh, so you have the quiz three uh, after the spring break. So. Next week, I will go through the study guide of quiz, quiz three. Okay, today uh, I will go through the assignment quickly. So we are in the week six, seven, it's right here. So this is, uh, the, this assignment is using the emphasis that we learned today. And also we are going to learn about the balance uh, next week, but for the, uh, just for a glimpse, like symmetrical balance is like you are having uh, this, the same elements on this side, just mirror it into the other side. 
that's the symmetrical the isometrical balance is like you have uh, in the same from let's say from the center on this side you have uh, let's say a big triangles with one color you can use that triangles in a different sizes but having a lot of triangles on this side with the, with the same color or uh, with the same color like balancing it but not the mirror image of the left side uh, the other thing is about the radial balance. Radial balance is like you starting from a one point and uh, uh, it's spread out. Uh, the, this crystallographic balance is like you use one pattern, one element. You can uh, change the direction and or the, uh, uh, the, the colors or something like that. You can change it and make a pattern or not. So this is the simple way, but it will be covered on the next uh, lecture. But you can start on doing, but you need to do minimum five sketches. Just try to do these things. So you have time also. Um, and you have to use the board 12 by 15, this board, and have to maintain one inch margin around the board. Uh, and you can use only uh, black, white, gray colors and uh, any other color that you wish, but not having too many colors. Uh, only you can use a, a one uh, different color. So I will show you here. Uh, and another thing is here it says uh, using the contact paper masking technique. Anyone knows what is that? It's like you have, uh, you can draw it on a on a paper and you can cut it out. Let's say if, uh, you have a flower, you draw a flower and you cut that one out and you can paste that, uh, not paste the mask in that paper on top of the board and you can paint it. Just like a stain, using a stencil, you can do that. And uh, for this one, you have to use a one letter, say using one letter of the alphabet to create that abstract composition with emphasis and balance. So you can cut it out the letter or you can use it like that. Anyway, if you can draw it on the board itself, it, that's fine. And I will just, you have 10 minutes more. Just give me a few minutes. I will just, uh, if you have anything, just ask me yeah, when I'm going through. Uh, So this is what I said about, uh, so, not here. Oh, sorry. So you can use, yeah, using one letter of the alphabet. This the example you can just go through. It. This is the symmetrical, isometrical. See here, the balance has been maintained by the staircase and this hallway to balance it on the both side. This is the radial, starting one point. This is uh, radial and also this is also a symmetrical balance as well. So this is what I told you about the crystallographic balance. See here, the pattern has been used. Certain elements has been used in the composition. So uh, see here, utilize black, white, and gray values of acrylic paint with one color of your choice. That's how you are going to do the, uh, the assignment five. These are some of the examples, see here, but these are simple ones. Try to do more creative uh, designs. See how the letter L, letter R. So this is how you are going to do your assignment file. Have any issues with that? Okay. And I will just go through the study guide as quickly as possible for then you can do your quiz too. Yeah, but you can do it as, <laughs> can you wait for a few minutes? Just I, do you want the go through the study guide or just you can go straight away to the quiz too? What? Study. study guide. I will just give you some hints, then you can just finish it off. Study guide. 
this this one so inherent line is kind of a invisible line that you will use to do your design uh, and uh, the naturalism and idealism is like idealism is not using the same natural elements but changing in this uh, changing the scale of it uh, to give the same idea okay and biomorphic shapes is like the organic shape human shape not straight lines all this one just the curvy lines or curvy shapes uh, the main characteristic of shapes in relation to abstract and abstract com abstract composition what we will do we will not give him full details we'll get get the only only the contour or the shape of it and the figure and ground is the positive and negative figure means the positive and the ground is we uh, usually called as negative what is subject matter and emotional content will you be able to uh, if you are if you want to convey a message it's uh, like uh, giving feelings and all that for that's called the emotional content no need to give the full detail of the subject to give the emotional content so keep that uh, as long as you can use abstract all those are artworks to give the same message no need to no need to draw the exact same element uh, to give that message so it's like subject matter uh, you no need to uh, it doesn't relate to that one the subject matter and the emotional content when small objects are magnified you call it like uh, exaggerated or uh, like enlarged exaggerated images like making the scale bigger or smaller <clears throat> what is surrealism i think you guys all know about it it's like uh, make change in the uh, size and the scale of the objects uh this is the what type of rectangle which relates to a square and proportion we call it root rectangle and where can we see the 3 to 5 ratio expressed actually everywhere it's uh showing a ratio this is the golden ratio the this is coming from the fibonacci sequence so it's it's been used in the natural elements in the artwork and everywhere so i think you can now go through the quiz too is there anything you want to know about the study guide is that it okay i think it will it won't take you much of a time it's just uh, let's see. It's... 